Well, this week, the FAA announced that Dallas Love Field will be one of the first airports in the nation to receive new technology that's aimed at reducing close calls between airplanes taking off and landing. This is all a part of a safety initiative that some in the industry are saying is desperately needed following several close calls, including one just this afternoon. Here's Ali Spilliards. Stop. Today, a near miss at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport as a Southwest Airlines flight was cleared to taxi. We stopped. We were cleared to cross runway four. As the FAA says, another controller cleared a jet blue flight. When calm, runway four, cleared for takeoff. Before suddenly aborting. And we're stopping at 1554. If people do not appreciate the seriousness of this, of the safety. Uh, situation we're in today, then something tragic is going to happen. Dan Stratman, a retired commercial airline captain and author of the aviation thriller Mayday, says these near misses on runways at takeoff and landing have become increasingly common due in huge part to staffing shortages and therefore a lack of experience throughout the industry. Last year, after an independent safety review found an erosion of safety margins that must be urgently addressed, the FAA released several initiatives to eliminate close calls. This week, announcing the Dallas Love Field, along with airports in Austin, Indianapolis, and Nashville, will be the first to receive new airfield surveillance systems, technology that will show controllers surface traffic like aircraft and other vehicles in all weather conditions. It's like having an extra pair of eyes looking over their shoulder. It will automatically perform some alerts if there's a conflict. FAA records show that last year there were six runway incursions at Love Field and 22 at DFW. None were classified as serious. But today's close call at Reagan Airport is far from the first. The safety of the system is going to be increased by having this new technology. But the real solution is to get more people into the jobs so that's not understaffed and build up the experience level. Increasing hiring is another step the FAA has committed to doing alongside this new technology set to debut in North Texas come July. In Dallas, Ali Spilliards, NBC5. In a release announcing the technology, FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker said, we are committed to doing everything possible to make our runways even safer. The agency said several other airports are slated to receive the new technology and equipment by the end of next year.